Nobody can deny the fact that iOS 8 brought some seriously needed upgrades to our iPhones. We now have widgets, we have third-party keyboards, we have third-party extensions, it's amazing. That being said, there is some stuff that we're always going to want to be able to do that Apple just won't permit us to do, and those of us jailbreak. These are the top eight iOS 8 jailbreaks that are all iPhone 6 and 6 Plus compatible. Let's take a look. Here's the thing, I swear that BioProtect was made specifically for me. I use my phone probably too much. I'm unlocking it every couple of minutes and it's become a huge pain in the butt to be stuck at the lock screen trying to enter in my four digit passcode with one hand on this gigantic phone or using Touch ID that only works half the time. So I've just disabled lock screen security. But that's dumb because there's stuff on my phone that's sensitive information. So this is what BioProtect does. Mailbox is my email client. I have bank statements and all sorts of stuff that I don't want people reading. And so when I enter that mailbox client, it asks me for my password or for my touch ID. It's great because I can lock the applications that I want locked and stuff that I don't care about like Snapchat and, and Twitter. I don't wanna be pestered every time I wanna open the app with touch ID and so it just opens automatically. It's really, really amazing to lock the applications that you unlock and to leave the ones that you don't care about unlocked. It also has reboot protection. So if someone steals your phone, they can't turn it off without your Touch ID password. It's an amazing security feature. I love this app. It is well worth the money that you pay. You need to get it right now. If you have an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, you no doubt share the same frustration that so many apps still are not updated for the larger screen sizes. It's super annoying. And so Force Good Fit takes these unoptimized apps and through some sort of wizardry, I don't really know how it works, it rescales them so that they fit the screen marvelously. Now it doesn't work with all apps. Some apps with heavy image elements don't scale too well, but text-based elements like Twitter clients, etc., they work amazingly. So you go here, you toggle the application that you want changed and you have to respring the phone. Once the phone is resprung, you can see that I don't know how it works, but the app looks amazing. Gone is the pixelization, everything's the right size. It's a phenomenal tweak. You need to get it now. Battery life on the new iPhones is actually really great. I'm at about 25% at 7 p.m. But would you believe me that I told you that the last time I charged my phone was yesterday morning? Oh, <gasps> Gasp! What kind of wizardry did you use, Quinn? I used BatSaver from the Cydia store, and there's actually no wizardry behind this at all. What BatSaver does is it turns off the radios that are not in use when the screen is turned off. So when your phone's in your pocket, only the Edge chip is running to check for notifications and for iMessage. There's no location tracking crap that's turned on. Facebook doesn't send tons of data. So not only do you save data, but you save tons and tons of battery. And the second you turn your screen on, it turns your Wi-Fi chip back on, your Bluetooth chip back on, etc. You can customize Customize it exactly the way you like, and as you can see, battery just lasts a really, really long time. This is a superb app. It's a little bit expensive at $4, but I would undoubtedly recommend it for any iPhone user. The world would be a horrible place without Flux. Flux allows you to change the color temperature of your device's display to either really white or really yellow. Now you may be wondering, well, why the heck do I want to do that? I don't know if you've ever noticed, but at night, your display is very fatiguing and stress-inducing to your eyes. That bright white little screen is not only fatiguing, but it's actually unhealthy for your eyes. And so what Flex allows you to do is change the color temperature to something a little bit softer, a little bit more yellow. Now it's based on your location. So when the sun goes down, Flux will engage. And when the sun comes up, it will disengage. This is really, really great to make your eyes thank you and feel a lot better. It's one of those apps that's a little bit weird to get used to, but once you use it for two to three days you can't imagine life without it it has its own repo which is in the description below please try this it will change your life you may have noticed that i have this cool little springboard transition that has a railroad effect to it or maybe that my transitions and animations are really really fast you may have also noticed that i have custom carrier logo text how do I do this? It's available through an amazing app called Springtimize 3. Imagine this as the app that does everything you want and more. It's a couple dollars in the Cydia store, but it's well worth it because you can literally change everything about your phone. Every little single aspect of the appearance, all of the text, the font, everything can be changed. For example, let's change the background color of Notification Center to a dark green. When I pull it down, it's dark green. I don't have to respring or anything, it just works. I can change it to another color. Let's pick uh, this purple, let's go with red. I make the transition and it's red.
it does some seriously amazing stuff and you can change everything animations carrier text everything you can think of and more can be changed through this app if i spent the whole time going through the app it would take literally hours to show you all of the features but it's just an amazing little guy for example i can add a dark background and pinch to close folders so the you know the folders have a dark background and they're pinched to close i can also go back in turn the dark background off but still leave pinch to close in effect so i can pinch and the app closes it's amazing you need to get it now it will change your life it's absolutely superb it's spring to mice 3 in the cydia store activator is the reason that people jailbreak it is an amazing little application that has been amazing for years and really needs no introduction. And I, I can't even believe that it's available for free. It's absolutely crazy sauce. Let me give you an illustration of what this app can do uh, through an example. If I double tap the Touch ID sensor, my notification center comes down. I think reachability is stupid and so I've changed the hotkey programmation. Let's say I'm inside my Twitter app and need to launch the camera app, but I don't want to open Control Center. Not a problem. I swipe up right from the bottom corner and the camera app opens immediately. Let's say that for some crazy reason, I want to do the iPad gestures on my phone, like a three finger pinch to go to the home screen. I can. Let's say I want to do a three finger tap from anywhere inside any app to bring up the launcher. I can do that too. So this is an amazing application that allows you to program any shortcut you want through any key combo on the device. It is absolutely amazing. You need to check it out. There are so many configurations that it's not even believable. For example, you can have certain things happen when you're connected to a specific Bluetooth device over another Bluetooth device. It is crazy sauce. You need to download this. It will change your life. It's absolutely amazing. Activator. I'll admit it up front. I'm a weirdo. I make phone calls on my iPhone. Bro, that's so weird. I know, right? Instead of going into the phone app to find my favorite that I want to dial, or instead of double clicking the home button, I can now just swipe left from the actual lock screen to my nine favorites that I want to call. I click the name, it starts dialing, it's super easy to use. Now, one other thing that I really like about this app is, I let's say I swipe left, I wanna call someone, I make an accident, well, I can swipe right and it will take me directly to the springboard. For a couple dollars, this is well worth it if you use your phone to call people. Okay, you single fanroid that's still watching seven minutes into this video, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Hey Siri is a complete ripoff of Google Now's OK Google. The problem is that Hey Siri isn't really done right because the phone needs to be plugged in to function. Well, with untethered Hey Siri from the Cydia store, you can now say, Hey Siri, what's for dinner? Without ever having to touch the home button, the phone can be turned off completely and it still works. It's amazing, you need to get it. And you'd think that it'd take a very large hit on the battery life, but I've actually noticed it to be very, very minimal. And in fact, with BatSaver enabled, it's even less. So definitely download it to use Hey Siri functionality universally everywhere at all times and not having to be hugging the wall. Hey, thanks for watching. If this video was a benefit to you, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. If it wasn't of benefit to you, hit the dislike button and the unsubscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.